Okay, um, I have encountered a lot of flack, and I actually, uh, like most things, I can prognosticate when something uh, comes down the pike before I ever uh, upload the video. And, uh, you know, just like me talking about Sigma lenses being crap, which of course they are, and, you know, I get a lot of fluff. I've got a Sigma and you're full of crap. <laughs> or me uh, yeah, saying something bad about uh, the Sony system or the Sony uh, ecosystem, which is incredibly, incredibly small, or the fact that, you know, Sony uh, cameras are, uh, uh, I don't know, they're outdated about once every nine months, and, you know, once they reach their nine-month mark, uh, you know, getting rid of them at any price becomes impossible. <laughs> I've got a Sony. Well, that's all good and well. Um, this will certainly be the case here, and that I understand, and I'm the first person that talks about building it yourself and saving money, and I'm going to show you a trick here in a second about how to really save money um, on the next video. But um, reliability is incredibly important when it comes to wireless triggers. Um, obviously, you cannot do TTL, flash photography, with these pocket wizards, but um, it is also the case that if you're shooting a wedding, if you're just farting around, you want to use the young new uh, triggers for a lot less money, that's understandable. If you're doing any kind of shoot where, you know, the crap hits the fan if you don't get it, and then your reputation is destroyed, and someone leaves you a bad Google or Yelp review, and says, this guy's unprofessional, his, uh, his uh, wireless triggers broke down, and uh, he ruined our wedding. That sort of crap don't fly, baby. And, uh... These are far from the most expensive wireless triggers, but they're not that cheap. Uh, um, now I do have a cheaper version here. Now this is a Plus X3. Both of these are made uh, by uh, Pocket Wizards. I affectionately call them Pocket Lizards. Um, I take two AA batteries right here, which I don't have any of that one right now. <laughs> I've only got a couple right here and two AA batteries. And uh, incredibly useful. This is a cheaper version of this. Is a simple dumbed down version. Is a transmitter and a receiver. Um, but these are uh, the little suckers that all the pros use, and uh, they have incredible support. And uh, really, the breakdown on these is almost non-existent. Um, as far as also compared to uh, other uh, wireless triggers that uh, do not have uh, X number of frequencies, these do have those. That becomes really important if you have EMF or RF, uh, RFI, and also the uh, the range of transmission is incredible. And uh, on the more expensive ones, you can actually boost it. Say you're shooting through a building wall, you're outside shooting a model, for example. Here's one example that I've used them before. And uh, you've got some stained glass windows inside of a building, so you're going to be shooting the speed light, one of the speed lights, uh, one layer of light through the building and uh, you're outside and you know you need to penetrate the wall of that church for example and you want to shoot the, the stained glass window to be illuminated with a speed light inside the building or the church you know you, you really do need stuff like this these are 150 dollars a piece i know that isn't uh, that uh, it's a uh, rather pricey for these little suckers but they do have a cheap version the plus x and uh, these were recently on sale for 75 bucks a piece but right now they're back up to $99 a piece, so they're $50 less than these, and they basically do 95% of what anybody would ever need for, you can use this as a transmitter or receiver, and of course it does have a dial here for setting uh, your channels, one, two, three, yada, yada, yada. Um, this is perfect for uh, use with your Fuji, if you're going to use uh, your speed light, as I showed you in another video, um, in uh, auto mode or manual mode, which are the options that you have, for example, for use on the Fuji. But also, it doesn't matter if it's a Fuji, it may be the Canon or an Nikon, same thing. I uh, always attach uh, the Velcro to the back of mine. There's no Velcro on this one because I use this one on camera exclusively, so I don't need Velcro on it. So, uh, industrial Velcro is the photographer's uh, best friend. You attach it to all sorts of crap, and that way you can attach crap to other pieces of crap. <laughs> Um, uh, now these will work for Canon or Nikon or Fuji, it doesn't matter what the hell sort of camera you got. And uh, this is a little secret thing everybody should buy. I've got like a pile of them. These are hardcore SOBs made in Japan. And they are masterful quality. These are SC17 flash cables. Now obviously center pin connectors are the same, whether it's Canon, Nikon, Fuji, no matter what the hell camera you got uh, for uh, tripping uh, your, uh, your uh, speed light. And I'll actually daisy chain two or three of these together so I can actually get my speed light, you know, five or six feet away. So I'll daisy chain one to one. You get the point. And then I'll actually use these like on a light stand, a, uh, a speed light on a light stand, and get the camera away five or six feet. 
and uh, so I've got basically four and a half feet with one of these, so triple that, and I've got almost 15 feet. Um, so these are little suckers that I highly recommend anybody having that's going to be uh, doing speed light use because while there is a hot shoe on top of your camera, it don't matter if it's a Fuji or if it's an Icon, uh, that hot shoe is uh, really, especially on the Fuji, because any speed light will just dominate it like, uh, you know, an obese woman sitting on top of an anorexic man. <laughs> you, that hot shoe really ain't made uh, for speed light use. Yes, it is, but no, it isn't. You got to get your damn flash off your damn camera. So, so that needs to be a t-shirt. Get your flash off your damn camera uh, because uh, that is really unflattering light in the extreme. That's what photojournalists use and need for recording news and whatnot. But it's not meant to be artistic or flattering lighting. It's not flattering to anything. So, anyway, these are things to consider. I mean, I know the cheap Chinese, the triggers are cheap, 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 and they work, but they're not that reliable. The distance that they transmit and receive is not that far. And uh, if you're going to do any kind of paid-for shoot, then uh, you, you has done made a mistake. And uh, that mistake is trusting in that... Uh, it, uh, cheap Chinese crap. Oh, baby. Don't do it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. And Happy New Year. I hope you didn't get drunk. I know I didn't because I don't drink.